This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. I came across this interesting research paper from Google Research which talks about reinforcement learning with AI feedback. So, reinforcement learning from human feedback is effective at aligning large language models to human preferences, but gathering high quality human preference labels is a key bottleneck. So, RLHF or reinforcement learning with human feedback is used in models like chat gpt cloud a stable vicuna okay the idea over here was that you take a pre-trained large language model you actually fine tune it on say demonstration data right you do supervised fine tuning and you get a supervised fine tuned model then the outputs of the supervised fine tuned model are rated by humans okay that is where the human feedback comes into picture and based on this human feedback you train a reward model and this reward model is then used in reinforcement learning based fine, uh, uh, you know, fine tuning or training of this supervised fine tune model to get your final model on prompt data. Okay, that's the idea over here. Right now, what the authors have done over here is that they have actually instead of using human feedback, they make use of off the shelf large language models to get this preferences on the outputs of your supervised fine tune model right so here the task is text summarization now a particular input is given for text summarization and summaries are obtained these summaries are then rated by an off the shelf large language model instead of human now based on this rating a reward model is trained okay based on this ai feedback then this reward model is used in reinforcement learning to improve your supervised fine tune model to get your final reinforcement learning model okay your final model basically final llm that is the key idea over here so when they did this what they have observed is that you know rl ai uh, reinforcement learning with ai feedback it achieves comparable performance to the rlhf okay that is what they are saying in your reinforcement learning with human feedback, you have this bottleneck of, you know, human preferences. Basically, you need humans to sit and, you know, generate these human preferences. Here, that is replaced by a off-the-shelf large language model. That is a key idea over here. So, what they are saying is that they observe that both RLAIF and RLHF policies are preferred by humans over a supervised fine-tune baseline 71% and 73% of the time, right? So more or less, uh, it is same, uh, you, uh, right? The difference is not statistically significant between RLHF and RLAF. And second, when asked to directly compare generations between these two, right? Humans prefer both at equal rates. This result suggests that this reinforcement learning with AI feedback is a viable alternative to RLHF. Okay, and it does not depend on human annotations and offers appealing scaling properties. That is a key idea over here. Okay. So RLHF was revolutionary in the sense that you have chat GPT's performance, um, you know, mainly because of this RLHF, right? Now, what if you can replace RLHF by an off the shelf LLM, human preferences by off the shelf LLM, which is an AI model. Okay. So you can easily scale this. That is the idea over here because humans are bottleneck in, you know, generating these preferences you need human labor for that okay so with this key idea uh, they explain about what is uh, you know reinforcement learning with uh, human feedback i would suggest uh, this particular article from chip huen you can read over here and understand more about it okay that is what they are explaining so what they are doing is that they are using this uh, you know llm with this particular kind of a prompt where you have a preamble, a good summary is this, uh, you know, an example of a summary and then give your original input text and the summaries. Okay. And then you are asking it to, uh, you know, uh, give a preferred summary like this, right? That is what is used over here. Okay. The LLM on the input text, the prompt for the LLM is what is shown over here, right? To generate these AI preferences. Okay. And then, yeah, they talk about other things over here. Uh, now, let's go a little bit into the details of, uh, you know, what kind of models were used. 
right you can read the details over here so they used palm 2 as the llm for labeling preferences so palm 2 is a model from google so they are using that as the llm for labeling preferences and they made use of uh, you know uh, where was that they made use of a palm 2 extra small instance as our initial training initial checkpoint to train the super fine tune model okay so the idea is this over here in this particular diagram right they used palm 2 uh, you know small model to create this supervised fine tune model they used palm 2 for actually uh, rating over here okay as the llm for generating this ai rating so the final model is the version of palm 2 okay so yes uh, then they talk about uh, you know uh, other things like their experimental uh, details the data set is reddit tl uh, the summarization data set and it is curated by open ai it contains close to 3 million posts from reddit alongside summaries of the posts written by the original authors okay so what they say is that the data filtered is of high quality by open ai um, so that is of high quality they talk about that and how do they actually compare the results okay so they use three metrics over here for evaluation one is ai labeler alignment measures the accuracy of ai labeled preferences with respect to human preferences okay so the idea over here is that for a single example it is calculated converting soft ai labeled preference to a binary representation and then assigning a one if the label agrees with the human target human preferences and zero otherwise okay that is the idea over here for evaluation of the summaries right whether it matches the human summary right uh, then the second one is pairwise accuracy measures how accurate a trained reward model is with respect to a held out set of human preferences okay so given a shared context and a pair of candidate responses the pairwise accuracy is one if the uh, reward model scores the preferred candidate higher than the non-preferred candidate according to human label otherwise value is zero okay so this is the evaluation on three metrics of your uh, you know the reward model that's the idea so ai labeler alignment pairwise accuracy and win rate now what is win rate it is an end to end quality of two policies by measuring how often one policy is preferred by humans over another one so it is an end to end measurement of you know whether humans prefer reinforcement learning with artificial feedback or reinforcement learning with human feedback so this is how they are measuring uh, these three metrics are how they are measuring rlaif versus rlhf okay so you can look at further details in the paper uh, i wouldn't go into the details okay now if you were to look at uh, their conclusion there are some interesting points over here when i looked at the conclusion so what they are saying is that uh, this work highlights the potential of re uh, reinforcement learning with AI feedback, but there are some limitations. It only explores the task of summarization. So the other, uh, you know, open question about generalizability to other tasks, that is something which needs to be worked out in the future. And they have not measured whether LLM inference is advantageous versus human labeling in terms of monetary costs, which is cheaper, human labeling or LLM inference. So that they have not measured. Additionally, there are interesting questions like what if you, if you combine RLHF with RLAF? Okay, so use one round of RLHF and then improve the results with RLAF. Right, those kind of combinations are something which they have not tried out. Okay, so yeah, those are some interesting conclusions. So what they are saying is for this task of text summarization, RLAF is comparable to RLHF, uh, you know, uh, at uh, uh, they are preferred at similar rates by humans so that is what they are saying over here so this is an interesting paper i suggest that you can look into the details i'll be putting the link to this particular paper in the description of the video along with chip huens uh, you know article on reinforcement learning with human feedback for your better understanding I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.